Archangel Spanuel's message. Listen closely. Humans who believe that Yahweh and the Antichrist are the same are practicing paretally. Seeing and believing meaningless things that you are gaslighted to see even though there is nothing there. It is also not wanting to or not having the ability to see things as they really are. This is dangerous demonic culture. Man is now living in ill times and man-made religions are satanic, delusional, and a lie. The demonic descendants of Cain are Avenger spirits who infiltrated the human race after being cursed by Yahweh for developing artificial intelligence, which created murder, death, suffering, bigotry, hate, racism, prejudice carnal lust and the most dangerous of all, ego, which allows mankind to put his free will above the designated will of Yahweh. None of this foul human behavior existed prior to the descendants of Cain spreading out all over the earth. It did however exist in some angels who were expelled from heaven because they couldn't serve Yahweh because they wanted to be it. Yahweh removed the pigmentation from Cain's descendant skin and weakened their bodies, in agility, coordination, physicality so that the world would know and easily identify them as dangerous and toxic, filled with supernatural venom which is deadly to mankind. Their supernatural venom was the invention of the weapons of death, including guns, bombs, and diabolic chemical slash biological death processes. Always remember that evil was dismissed from heaven and there is only one other entity in the universe. And it is called holy. Choose wisely. I must reveal the truth as much as it pains me, but a great war is once again coming to the land called the United States of America, which has become a dystopian society that mistreats Yahweh's people. It has developed the headquarters of the Antichrist in a location called Area 51. The center of all new artificial intelligence development. Yahweh is not pleased. The human race has been destroyed twice already. Modern day man is the third installation of human beings on earth, and he is the most wicked, weak and sinful of them all. He will let the Antichrist disguise himself as the most perfect angel you can imagine. For centuries he is the one behind the worst, most plagiarized version of the holy scriptures and holy black culture, with the introduction of a white entity and called him Jesus. All must come to know that Yeshua was not the one posing in that picture known to the world as Jesus. This portrait was painted only to make the world not believe in Yahweh, Yeshua and the angels. The Antichrist created Vatican City and a man called the Pope. Vatican City is a demonic attempt to copy a small part of heaven expressly designed so that his father, Samuel, could be worshipped on his own throne here on earth. Be warned and be leery of the Vatican and the Pope, these are pagan things. The Illuminati are the children and believers of the Antichrist. They are rich and powerful and pushing his agenda onto the masses. They are the unholy trinity. Americans have been gaslighted into hating the communists, but they are the only ones on earth trying to dismantle the Catholic Church which is the shame of the earth, that uses the most gaslighted people to ever appear in the universe, poor whites, to carry out his agenda of hate, which mocks Yahweh. Their families will never be able to break the curse that holds them in ignorance and poverty and also holds them back from success even in the afterlife. They don't understand that their enemy is not a flesh and bone, that it is not people of color, but an archangel and his son who wants to be Yahweh and Yeshua. They become the police and are demonically trained to murder and hurt people of color in the name of Samuel. They have become the racial oppressors in the United States. This is a sin that all who participate in will be severely punished. The demonic understand that prayer is the crafting of words to ask for divine protection and discernment from Yahweh to be shielded from the plethora of demonic forces on constant attack on our souls. When you say Jesus and not his real name Yeshua, you too are a victim of spiritual warfare, because you are praying to a God created by the demonic. Yahweh and Yeshua are perfect without any errors, and are the only ones along with their angels who can help you out of your mess. The way to your destruction is the lack of spiritual knowledge. You must increase your spiritual stamina and practice spiritual apartheid against the demonic and evil. You must not ever be viewed by Yahweh as a spiritual security high risk, because the only way the demonic hurts Yahweh is when they steal your soul from him. One thing for certain, Samuel, Lucifer, would give up everything he is to be able to go back to heaven. So why are you so eager let your actions and free will end? Descendants of Cain take you to hell? Yahweh did not design any of mankind to be with demons. Your prayers without a cause to a created demonic God are just wasted words. Seek Yahweh before it is too late.